Hello, I'm Fried Console. This is Obliteracers. It's a single screen kart racer where the real the real object is to knock out your opponent instead of really racing uh, laps and things like that. You're really just knocking out your opponents. It's a lot like Blaze Rush. Uh, you can watch my video of Blaze Rush. It's very similar to this game. Uh, even the objectives are, are pretty much the same. Um, there's there's pros and cons of each game. I don't know which one I could say is better. I'm kind of I kind of like Blaze Rush better. Uh, this is probably more set accessible as standard card controls. Um, let's see if we got a controller map here. Controls. So accelerate, brake, steer, fire, drop shield. So you can uh, you can uh, you know change your. Uh, uh, your weapon by just dropping it with, with triangle if you don't like it. Um, you got jump. You don't really need to drift. Uh, an airstrike. I've not used the airstrike. I've not seen that. So that's pretty much it. Um, let's get into it. Uh, there's quite a bit of different maps here. I think there's about 30 different maps. Uh, it's pretty pretty unique. Uh, there's different objectives that mix it up. There's survival, leader. This is you're trying to be in the front. In the front, you only get points if you're in the front. Endurance. Uh, you know, you're just trying to knock out. So most most of it's survival. Let's play. Uh, uh, let's, let's play knockout. There's also it's a fun of uh, pit power ups to get. That's where it's really about. It's really about collecting power-ups and trying to shoot your opponents off. I am the tank that just fell off. So you can see here that you get points for knocking uh, other people out. Not really getting. You can see the little bars go up so when somebody gets points knocking the other person out. There's other ones where you, still, you win if you survive and get points. Then this one, you, the idea is to knock, knock, some, knock out your opponents. Usually with power-ups or just knock them off screen. So you can see that guy got a lot of points. Let me try to stay on. So I'm number one. I did not get a power-up, so I'm not going to do very well here. Oh, I just died. <laughs> Usually not this bad. Let's try it again. You can, you can skip it when you're, you're playing against something but AI. Uh, let's try oh, knocked out somebody. Then I knocked out. So you can see I got some points. I'm Sarge. Person wins when they fill up their bar. It's kind of crazy and hectic. It's a good looking game. This is much better looking than Blaze Rush. Um, you know, it, I'm sliding all over the place because it's rainy. Usually it's not this slippery. I'll play another level, it's not so crazy but with the sliding. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good looking game. It runs at a great frame rate. I haven't seen any hitches. There's been some bad card racers. So you get the idea of this. Let me, let me, let me uh, switch to a more traditional map. This, that one's kind of crazy with the, uh, the sliding around. Uh, let's play... Did I play Knockout already? Yeah, let's play Desert Storm. So in this one, you don't wait, you don't play rounds. P people continuously uh, just respawn. The modes aren't that much different from each other, but it, it does mix it up. And uh, there's a good variety of maps. I like this one because it has a lot of mines. In front of them. It's got an easier seat. What's going on here with less people on the screen? So if I, I can fall behind and then I'll get knocked out too. So you gotta st you gotta keep up the pace. Uh. 
Behind, so I got knocked out. There's some cool power-ups that, you know, there's, most of the power-ups are pretty useful. This one's mine, so I gotta get in front of everybody at a good pace and drop the mines for it to be useful. So I can get in front of them. Probably not. Knock people into mines, that's, that's always fun. But I think you get the idea. Let's try to play a multi online game. Um, I've not been able to find somebody playing to, play, to really test the online, so I'm not sure how it is. You can see here you got local uh, multiplayer. Uh, see if we can find somebody. Nope. It's just, just the public one. You can change it to whatever you want. Let's play. I haven't played that one yet. Uh, last one standing. Yep. Battlefield with bots. We want a lot of bots. Different skills. So it's it's, it's drop-in online. So somebody could could drop in and replace one of the bots. So it's pretty neat. Supposedly, I'm not seeing anybody playing online. So this is this is launch week. Uh, so maybe more people will buy this game. But there's so much on the PlayStation Store these days. I doubt it. So. Uh, get some friends to play online, or on your couch. Let's uh, check out this race. I wish I had enough races so you get the idea. This one, you want to get the points by surviving. As you can see, that only the uh, person that uh, survived will get the points. If you like this game, you might want to check out the Blaze Rush. I got a video. You might want to see which one you like better. Uh, they're very similar. This one's a lot easier to control. It's good because it's more of standard kart racer controls. The other one was more directional. You kind of had, you know, move it around directionally instead of using standard kart uh, controls. So uh, I, I think this is a really good game. I think it's good quality. It runs well. It looks beautiful. Um, nothing bad to say about it other than that I think the races go on too long. Sometimes, you know, uh, Laser Rush had a, a rolling pin that if things were just getting too slow, it would eventually catch up and knock out people. And some of the uh, ones where you have to get points take forever to, to get to, to, to finish. So, you know, some of them are like 15 minutes, when really these races should be a lot, you know, 5 to 10 minutes. So, other than that, that's the only, only qualms with this game. Otherwise, I really like this game. It's a good quality game. Uh, this is Blitter Racers on Pride Console. Thanks for watching.